Hey, you guys. It's National Donut Day. Mmm. Orange grocery store. Um, I know they're gonna be delicious. But let's see what it is. It says National Donut Day or National National Donut Day. I'm just reading off a wiki. It's kind of funny. Mm. Um, my first National Donut Day. I'm reading off my little iPhone FCE with a teeny tiny screen. It says on National Donut Day celebrated in the United States on the first Friday of June each year, succeeding the donut event created by the Salvation Army in Chicago in 1938 to honor those of their members who served donuts to soldiers during World War I. The holiday celebrates the donut uh, edible shaped piece of dough which is deep fried and sweetened. Many American donut stores offer free donuts on National Donut Day. Oh my goodness. Um, and then it started in 1938 as a fundraiser for Chicago Salvation Army and their goal was to help those in need during the Great Depression and to honor the Salvation Army last seas of World War I who served donuts to soldiers. Uh, soon after the U.S. entrance into World War I in 1917, the Salvation Army sent a fact-finding mission to France. Hold on, I have to have another bite. I'm honoring the donut today in a fancy way. That, that's why I have my fine china and knife and fork. But I, I don't normally eat my donuts like this. Mm. I just want to honor under the donut today. The mission concluded that the needs of U.S. enlisted men could be met by canteens, social centers, known as huts, that could serve baked goods, provide writing supplies and stamps, and provide a clothes mending service. 
Typically, six staff members per hut would include four female volunteers who could mother the boys, and these huts were established by the Salvation Army in the United States near the Army Training Centers. About 250 Salvation Army volunteers went to France because of the difficulties of providing freshly baked goods from huts established in abandoned buildings. Near to the front lines, the two Salvation Army volunteers, Margaret Sheldon and Helen Perviance, came up with the idea of providing donuts. These were reported to have been an instant hit, and soon many soldiers were visiting the Salvation Army huts. And Margaret Sheldon wrote of one busy day, Total, I made 22 pies today, 300 donuts, and 700 cups of coffee. And soon the women who did this work became known by the servicemen as the Donut Girls. Oh my goodness. Is that the sweetest story? You know, I learned a little bit about the Salvation Army. Um, donut dollies. Oh, here's a... Donut dollies were... Women volunteers of the Salvation Army who traveled to France in 1918 to support U.S. soldiers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's a, like an old sketch from 1918 of a lady with a huge bucket of donuts. I almost want to cry. It really makes me want to. Know more about the Salvation Army now, um, but my little donut story um, is this like a um, in addition to all the fun donut memories on Sunday after church. Um, so, anyways, um, the Helms Bakery that uh, that'll be the story I tell. Um, you could the Helms Bakery would drive up and down a street. And you could buy donuts for like, like fifty cents, I think, or a quarter. No, I'll never forget. Me and my friend were walking. This one day, we were walking up to like the local little, like a, a Seven Eleven, but it was like a mom and pop shop. And I'm walking, and I see the donut guy, comes bakery, and I tell my friend, "Oh, I'm gonna get some donuts," and I had a dollar, and I had. And I ended up buying like three or four donuts glazed with, I think, even one was glazed with chocolate on top. I got in so much trouble. Guess who comes driving by in their vehicle? Just as I'm at the Helms Donut Bakery truck with a wad of donuts in my donut bag. And I get my change and I'm walking away. And there's my dad sitting in the car staring. He could not believe I bought that many donuts. And he knew I was going to eat them. And he was always a big sugar fanatic back. It was in the 60s. I knew sugar was bad. So anyways, I got in big trouble. And I'll never forget. I was like shivering in my boots and he... And he says, he says, are you, are you buying donuts for yourself? I'll never forget this. I was so scared. I said, yes, sir. And I said, sir, I never used to say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am to my parents. Anyways. Um, well, that's my little story for Nice and Donut Day. Uh, but still. It's a good, fun memory for me. Donuts and the Helms Bakery, man. I even have a Helms Bakery whistle. My mom bought it somewhere. If I ever find my Helms Bakery whistle, I'll show you. Oh my goodness. This has been fun. Thanks for watching.